Hi. Hi, let's do math. Okay, here it is, 8.8. .8. It's everything you've ever dreamed of. Okay, instead of drawing things, I'm going to be talking to you and you're gonna be doing either this, like, yeah, 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 I agree, or this, no, 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 I don't agree. You can do it, ready? To these following statements. <clears throat> You love your teacher's YouTube videos. That's the correct answer. Yes, that's right. You're good at this. Okay. Next. A parallelogram can have one or two pairs of parallel sides. A parallelogram can have one or two pairs of parallel sides. That one is... <gasps> it has to have two pairs parallel sides. Not one. Okay, next one. A square must have four equal length sides. Duh. Moving on. A square is also a rectangle and a parallelogram. Good, good. A kite. No, not the flying kind. Let's get back to the math. Kite, okay? A kite is always a rhombus, but a rhombus is not always a kite. Eh, that was hard. That's the other way around. Rhombuses are kites. Kites don't have to be rhombuses. This rhombus means it's like a square. It's got the same length on each side. Kites don't have to have that. They can. Next, um, a trapezoid. A trapezoid always has only one pair of parallel sides. Bzz. It can have more than one. It usually does only have one pair, but you can have it. It's still, sorry, you lose on that one. Next, a rectangle can also be a kite. No, dude, because the kites have to have the sides that are touching each other the same length, and that's exactly what a rectangle is not. At least like that shorter than that. No. Okay, so that's all you got. That's all you're getting from me. That was pretty easy. Not bad for whatever day this is for you. Okay, here's what you need for today's lesson. You're going to be doing 8.8, .8 and it's a footstep problem, and it's kind of fun. You need a calculator. Do you need a calculator? You need... I, did I, I... I just said you needed a calculator. Do you need a calculator? Well, not when I say that you need a calculator. What, do you think I can't see you? Come on. All right, here we go. Imagine that you are living in a time when there are no cars, trains, or planes. You do not own a horse. That's good. You don't have to feed them and clean their poop. A boat or any other means of transportation you plan to travel to Washington, D.C. We're going to go there. We're going to bust in on those folks. We're going we're gonna to tell them they're not doing that good of a job. Okay, we're not feeling very cared for, except for Dr. Fauci. I love him. I've already ordered my Fauci shirt from Etsy. I'll let you know when that gets in, okay? Now, we're going to go tell Fauci he's awesome. We're going to tell some other people, do a better job. That's what we're going to do. So, um, so we're going to Washington, D.C. We're going to Washington, D.C. Yep. We're going to keep socially distant from each other. Okay? And from, you know, when we have to stop and get food and stuff. Okay? You can do that. Take out. We'll get take out. And we're going to walk. So, you're going to need to fill out the box right now on page 300. And then I'm going to do 300 and 301 as one video next. So, I'm giving you the information. You're going to get your calculator. You're going to do this. Okay. Here we go. About how long is one footstep? I have done a very careful analysis of this problem, and then they got an exact answer. Before the pandemic, I studied this intensely. So a footstep is exactly, and does not deviate from, so don't think, yeah, mine's longer, I'm bigger. No, no it isn't. Every footstep ever is 2.3 feet. That's going from like toe to toe or heel to heel, not that heel to the front toe. That's not measuring footsteps. Okay, that is how long a footstep is. How many feet are in a mile? You need this piece of information. Some of you know it. 5,280 feet. Why? 
because we have a stupid measuring system. Did I say stupid? Oh, is that a red word? Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Miles are stupid, right? The Romans died. We don't need to keep their measuring system. Go to metric, people. We can do it. Forget it. We'll stick with this now. 5,280 feet is a mile. About how many miles is it from your school to your destination? And I've analyzed this very carefully, and it is exactly 634 miles. Okay. About how many steps does a fifth grader take in a minute? Again, I have exactly measured this. And through careful study, what I determined was that a fifth grader, unless you poke them quickly, like with a stick, something sharp, they take 41 steps per minute. You're like, I do more than that. No, you don't. Not without somebody poking you, you're always kind of slowing down. You get to 41, then you kind of hang at 41, okay? If you're going up to chorus, it takes you even, yeah, you're down to about 36, okay? I've seen you people walking way up there. It's pathetic. So you got all that information. That's what you need for the boxy box on page 300. Now, with your calculator and with your pencil, you're going to be filling out the answers and explaining how you got to your answers. Go do it.